Operation Lifesaver is an international organization. We are a braille safety education group. We will go out and try to educate the public on the dangers of railroad crossings and the railroad rights of way. Today we have an event called the Office on the Train. This is where we'll have uh, law enforcement will ride in the cab of an engine and we'll have ground troops stationed around and anyone that violates the crossing when the uh, train is approaching will be issued a citation today. What does the law say when it uh, uh, meet, has a motorist coming to a railroad crossing? Well, of course, if there are lights flashing, then you must stop. Every uh, motorist vehicle must yield the right of way to the train. The cross buck, the white X that has railroad crossing written in it, is a yield sign for us, the motoring public. So every motorist must yield the right of way to the train. It's illegal to stop on the tracks, to pass, or to shift as you cross in uh, railroad uh, tracks. What are some of the major safety issues when it comes to motorists uh, crossing over railroad tracks? Well, besides the obvious of a collision, they always run the risk of maybe a derailment on a, uh, for the train. And depending on the cargo they're carrying, you know we have a lot of hazard material that travels through Louisiana. So we run the risk of endangering the entire community. Tell us a little bit about uh, uh, Louisiana's railroad makeup. Uh, how many uh, uh, rail lines do we have here and the volume of traffic and how it compares to other states? We have six class ones that operate inside Louisiana. There are only seven in the United States. We've got six of them here in Louisiana. Our uh, volume and tonnage is right up there. We're in the top five uh, and that kind of must correspond with our statistics because we're the fifth worst state in fatalities. Last year we had 84 collisions which resulted in 50 injuries and 10 fatalities in Louisiana. Uh, we're the fifth worst. We have almost 3,000 miles of uh, track and about 5,000 crossings in Louisiana. What are some of the contributing factors to accidents uh, at railroad crossings? Well, typically we'll find inattention, impatience, sometimes impairment. The driver doesn't want to wait the five minutes or eight minutes that it might take a train to pass, so they'll, re they'll risk their life and go in front of the train. What happens when that, ha when that occurs? Well, oftentimes it results in a collision. If it's not, it's a near miss. It's still scary because you got to realize the train crew is just doing a job. They're not out there to hit anybody or injure or kill anybody. And this is just a daily workload for them. But they see it all the time. And that's what this event will do today. This will kind of show law enforcement in this area the dangers of these crossings. I think it's going to be a good positive campaign. We have law enforcement on board. We have six officers right now. And uh, we have the, the railroad police for Kansas City Southern. Everybody's got a positive uh, attitude. We're hoping for no injuries, uh, not to the public, nor to our, our employees or the law enforcement themselves. If people have questions like more information, what should they do? You can find our, our information on our website, laoperationlifesaver.org.